material and I will die, there will be no heaven and there will be no hell. It's just over. And if I'm thinking like this, it has an inner logic to me to say, yeah, but when it's like that, then I need everything here and now. And I optimize my here and now as good as I can, knowing or believing that, that life has an end. So I personally think this, this tragedy uh, has caused, especially in the last century until now, an orientation coming originally from the West, now hitting deeply also the East, if you mm -hmm. see yeah, the idea of New India or China or yeah. wherever, it, it is a virus spread all over. <laughs> And American it's virus. It's really an American virus. <laughs> an American sorry, virus. That, it's good it that you is. said I'm that. Sorry. It's good yeah, that yeah. you said that. It's I mean, true. we are, we uh, are. It's a McDonald's virus. It, it is. It is. <laughs> I, I would say, uh, the Europe created it. You manifested it, because if you go uh, philosophically back to this moment in time where I think we took the wrong term, a turn, it was when Descartes was coming with this cogito ergo sum. Mm -hmm. So I think, so I am, so this ex existential idea of thinking is all there is, and that's me, mm -hmm. uh, set the ground for McDonald's and, and all the <laughs> manifestations. So we, this was a collaboration, I would say. <laughs> um, but my, my question to you is, um, if from a spiritual point of view, I was um, through my last four years traveling through Asia, and, and digging into these old Eastern philosophies and also practices. Mm -hmm. um, I was always trying to discuss this phenomenon with all these masters. And I said to them, okay, I mean, you see that we are wrong as a global society. Let's do something against that. Let's, mm -hmm. let's help us to awake or whatever. And, there was quite a lot of them who denied that, who said, yeah. uh, no, this is the way nature is, yeah. and if we are on that track, it is also for a reason. So we do not want to intervene. What is your perspective on that? Should we let it go? And <laughs> should we let it happen, what happens? Or is it also our responsibility as a human, at least, to do our very best also to inspire others to reflect that and, and, and have a higher consciousness? Uh, the way the Buddha did it uh, is very... The, people don't know too much about it, but historically, in the scriptures, uh, he said uh, we should start from teaching people how to be successful materially. Uh, we should start from that point because most people can only relate to that. So it's not a modern problem. It's always been that way, that people can relate to money and things. So Buddha said, when you start teaching someone, you start at the bottom and you teach them uh, how to be successful in a material way. And uh, for many years, I didn't understand why my Lama sent me to New York and why he forced me to do this mm. business. Mm. And I was very much against it, and I was angry. But you have to do what the Lama says. And uh, <laughs> I only did it because he said to do it. And mm. I didn't understand it, and I was actually angry. And, uh, and I, I said, well, in my mind, I'm like, why are you making me do this thing? Mm. I took... It took years for me to get out of it, <laughs> you know, and now you're asking me to do it again. And um, he said, and, and Buddha said, uh, that to teach, to convince people that goodness is correct, you have to start with material things. So you teach them uh, to give material things uh, as a way of getting material things. So. Actually, the success of our business was based on the success of our charity, mm. uh, helping the Tibetans save their literature. So we, we say that when you share what you have, you know, like if I want money, there are four classical steps in the scriptures. The first one is I have to decide what I want. 
then at the lowest level, uh, just to teach people that it works, the principle, you say, you can make money. And they say, yeah, teach me, you know, and you say, okay, number one, this, the, these are the four ways to plant a karma. They're called shi, sampa, jo, and tartu in, in the scriptures. So she means, you know, decide what you want.